This is Uli Carlson, our expedition leader from Sweden. I ask Uli why he returns to Antarctica each summer to educate scientists and visitors about this vast continent. I have kept coming back for the simple reason that I fell in love. Uh, it is an unearthly place, pristine, it has a lot of creation, uh, it's untouched in so many ways. Uli talks about the ice and why we need it to survive. Ninety percent of the ice in the world is in Antarctica. And I have seen over the years in the peninsula how much of it is going at a faster and faster rate. I can see new land coming out. I can see glaciers retreating. And in the last few years there has been first more snow and then now this last season, in the spring in November, very little snow. We need the ice of East Antarctica. If that was to melt, sea level would rise by 60 meters. There are areas now in West Antarctica, the peninsula, where you don't have the sea ice building up any longer. And if it doesn't build up sea ice, there will be no krill. And krill is the staple diet food of the penguins, the seabirds, the whales. So the krill lives under the sea ice in the winter and grazes algae that bloom on the surface, on the surface of the ice. If there's no ice, the krill won't be there. I think that the warming in Antarctica does not really have a big threat uh, on a short term for the wildlife. We can see in the peninsula area that a daily penguin colonies are decreasing. Uh, the population is decreasing. But I think it's rather a question of redistribution. It's global warming climatic change, it is taking an impact and, and we can see evidence down here, both down here and up in the Arctic. Most glaciers, I would say 90%, maybe even 95% of glaciers are receding. It, receding to the point that certainly up in the Arctic, the ships can't even get close enough to the tongue of the glacier because 50 years ago when the charts were, were made, these tongues of the glacier were, were, uh, were forward by more than two miles. Now we have two miles of uncharted water to reach the tongue of the glacier. I mean, it's receding two miles in 50 years. That's a horrendous speed. We want to create ambassadors for Antarctica, but not only for Antarctica, because Antarctica is part of the planet. We have one home, and that is our planet Earth. And if we don't take care of it, which we seem to be pretty bad at right now, uh, then we may lose our home. So I think Antarctica can play a great positive role in raising awareness and feel for the beauty 
of our planet. They said we can have a 50 years moratorium. And the treaty party said, oh no, well, come on, and no, no. What do we have today? A 50 years moratorium. <laughs> so that is also to tell you that everybody can influence things. If you have an idea that is good, you feel for it, you may be able to actually improve the world, change the world to the better. For Antarctica! Antarctica.